Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to have more fun with your old HF radio by adding waterfall visualization feature. In my case that is Radio Yesu FT767GX. I would like to see an active radio stations over band which would help me to fit my main radio frequency to active QSO. The most important device here would be SDR adapter. I'm going to use an original RTL SDR block version 4 adapter. Of course, it could be any which would be able to be set on intermediate frequency in your radio. In my case, that is a, a 3503 MHz. That is the first IF frequency. I will connect buffer amplifier to intermediate frequency. Amplifier has gained near to 1. The reason of using this buffer is not to load IF stage and also to not inject any noisy harmonics from SDR device. Oh, it has a, a nice feature which is disabling adapter during transmission in this radio. In my case, IF stage is being used during transmit and receive modes. I don't like to have any monitor signal on my SDR when I transmit and also I don't like to inject any unnecessary high level signals back to SDR. Last time I did not have much time to design make this buffer by myself so I used an opportunity to order ready adapter from Italian shop tspelectronica.com. This product is called on the website iFace V20 and has all of features I need. They also um, shared instructions, schematic and PCB point where IF frequency stage output TX power supply lines are located. I have ordered ready SMA cables and plugs to make an easy possibility to dismount adapter from a radio, for instance when service purposes would be needed. This is power supply socket. The first pin is a ground. In my case, there is no any wire if you take a look into the black. Second and third pins are shorted. So red or orange wire would be my positive supplying potential, which I will connect to my buffer adapter. If you take a look at this plug, please try to find prior to the last wire, it is violet, that is PTT signal. So as you see, each cable to the pan adapter has a label, this is out to the SDR, supply, PTT and the input.
If you will find that button, you can use this functionality for a diagnostic purposes. It will turn on peak markers every 25 kHz. Please take a look that my main radio frequency is lower than first intermediate frequency. That means the first super heterogeneous rise up frequency, not decrease. When one will rise a main radio frequency, it will look like a decreasing frequency on the waterfall, summarizing its opposite to the changing main frequency. Also, if you would like to monitor any audio over SDR, apart from visual waterform aspects, in this case, when you listen SSB, the LSB will be USB and USB will be LSB. Papa 9 America Kilo Tango Sierra Papa 9 America Kilo Tango Now I get you 5 and 5 55 over Finally, I'm very excited of retrofitting my old ESO. In my opinion, I did not violate too much in this radio and I did not make it less valuable from a historical or art collector's point of view. I did not notice any harmonics or less quality of receiving signal after my rework. In my eyes, this radio now has all what I need and I don't have to spend now much money for a super new SDR HF radio from a factory. <laughs> of course, in the future, um, I would like to buy something new, but now I have everything what I need. <laughs>